Hi, today I'm going to show you how to replace the RAM memory in your Macintosh G4. First of all, I'd like to explain that I'm, the type of computer I'm using is a Macintosh G4 MDD. MDD stands for the Mirror Drive Doors. If you're trying to just replace a regular um, RAM drive from a normal Macintosh, you may want to consult your specific specs before beginning. First, um, you, before you even go out and buy new memory, you might want to determine if you need memory to begin with. Uh, if you're trying to use programs that use up a lot of uh, space on your drive and you notice that your, the programs are slowing down when you're using them, especially if you move from one program to another, it takes a long time for things to load, things to move, you probably need new memory. The best way to do this is to open up your activities monitor which is a little application in your system folder. There it will list all the programs you're using and down at the bottom will be a little pie chart, pie chart. If that pie chart is mostly yellow or red, chances are you need more memory. The average computer comes with about 256 megabytes, that's standard, but you generally need 512. Today we're going to upgrade to 2 gigabytes. My computer has been running on only 256 megabytes, so this will be a major improvement for what I use it for. I'm a graphic designer, so I use some big programs like Photoshop, Quark Express, in addition to my web browser and Microsoft Word. So this is much needed. The second thing you need to know is the type of memory that you use. <clears throat> For this particular Macintosh, we're using what's called PC2700 DDR. Um, when you go shop online, it's generally pretty cheap. I found mine at Circuit City for about $100 for 2 gigabytes. You can buy some cheaper off-brand, but Macintosh tends to be pretty picky about the type you use, so there's a good chance you may have to send that back to get more. I would recommend using a higher name brand. Um, Macintosh himself uses Kingston brand, so that's what I actually bought today. And this is kind of the package it comes in, so this is what to look for, Kingston brand. Okay, so with that said, <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is you really don't need any tools. You take uh, your Macintosh, unhook all the peripherals, and set it to the side. On the right-hand side, you'll find your latch lift up. Again, this may be different for other specific type of Macintosh, but this is for just the G4. Your RAM memory is found right here, if you'll come in ribbon. Just behind the motherboard, this right here is your RAM memory. And on each side, you'll see two little clips, so to take it out. We'll push down each clip with two fingers, lightly lift it out, just like that. Then you take your new memory, and be sure that this lines up correctly. So for this, we're going to flip it around, and when you stick it in, stick it in the original slot. I don't know if you can get the camera in the way. Very good. Be sure it lines up. With some fingers, push firmly down on the top until it slides in. When it slides in properly, the uh, little latches on the side will flip up and it'll lock into place. Now let's do the other one. They come in one gigabyte sticks. <clears throat> also, the Macintosh, uh, this particular Macintosh, can only hold up to two gigabytes worth anyway. So if you buy more than two gigabytes, you're just wasting your money. Put that down. And slide it in there. Again, push in until it all clicks into place. Very good. And there you have it. You've now installed two gigabytes of memory, RAM memory, into there. While we have this open, we're going to take just a can of um, aerosol dusting and we're going to spray off the board. It's always good to maintain proper function and dusting out the inside of your computer is something most people don't think about. Finally just close it up and you're ready to go. You should be noticing a significant difference in any type of memory upgrade. And that's it for today.